morning right now. Mom. All right. All right. Now, uh, only God knows what this is. Yes. And uh, only God knows uh, what impact yes. uh, this is going to have. Uh, first and foremost, I'm not so much talking about the church. Only God knows what impact this is going to have and is having on you. Yes. Right? right? Yes. Um, I don't know, I don't know the history. I don't know your history. <clears throat> the thing that's for me to do now though is, is to have some uh, some inkling, some understanding myself that you really know what you're doing. Yes. Because see now, I don't want you to do this. If you don't have an idea yeah. about what you're doing, yes. I'm coming back to Christian experience. Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. I've been saved before. I'm just going to check. Okay, wait a minute. All right, now. Believe it or not, you're telling me something. Yeah. Okay, wait a minute. 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 Wait Nobody gets saved before and then saved again. Wow. I, 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 here. And, and watch this here. Oh, well, first of all, uh, is there anybody that does not know this brother? Everybody know me. Everybody know me. Everybody know me. Everybody know me. But what is I'm, I'm, I'm the town barber. I can get you together. <laughs> And, and the 
game. He wants you to bring all of your baggage. But, but now, if you earnestly bring your baggage, I'm, I'm talking about what, what, you, what you doubt and the sin of thing to it. You don't have to admit this, but I know you doubt yourself. Because of your baggage. Yeah. You doubt yourself. But now, that's what you have to bring yes. to the power yes. of faith. All right. Yes. All right. Yes. I guarantee you this. If you see first yes, the kingdom of God, yes, sir. What, watch this. What you need to live the kingdom of God, he will, he has supplied. Yes, right. sir. Right. Will somebody tell me when I tried it? Well, no, you didn't. Yeah. Yeah. You have his promise. And God never breaks a promise. All right. Yeah. Amen. What did I say? Never yeah. breaks a promise. He never breaks a promise. Right. And he promised that if you would trust him yeah. on behalf. Because watch this. None of us is worthy to be trusted. That's right. That's right. That's right. If you trust him in the name yes. of his son, yes. who is worthy yes. of God's trust. Yes. You ain't worthy of God's trust. I'm not worthy. But now, his son is worthy yes. of his father's trust. Now, I come to him. You come to him. <laughs> Trusting his son. Thank you, Lord. you are saved. Watch this. You are sanctified. Yes. Set apart. That's right. Here, I 
I said all that. Well, you won't you won't get the fullness of that until you walk in it. Walk in. Walk in. Okay. okay. <laughs> And, and see, a lot of folk, a lot of folk don't understand. And that's, and that's how come, that's how come you come, uh, you come to worship. Uh, that's why you come to Bible study. That's how come you come to prayer meeting. Because all of these things are above and beyond belief. That's right. That's right. See, uh, demons believe. The Bible says. In case you didn't. Demons believe, but they ain't saved. That's right. So it is what you walk in that will illustrate and demonstrate what you believe. And now watch this. When you demonstrate what you believe, that no longer is just belief. That's faith. 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 Don't tell me you have faith and you don't walk. Faith is walking. Right. Yes. Right. Thank you. Yes. 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 Now this is why 
talk. The Lord judged between you and me. So Abram said to Sarah, indeed your handmaid is in your hands to do uh, to her as you please. Sarah dealt harshly with her. And when Sarah did hustle with her, Hagar fled. And y'all said amen. Amen. Okay, here. If you read the whole context of the story, that particular portion of it, first of all, God told Abram that he was going to do something. Right. Do y'all hear me? Right. Right. But what did... Father Abraham do. Abraham, the father of the faithful now. Right. Yeah. Right. Okay. Abram did not wait right. on God, God right. to do what he said. That's right. That's right. right. Abram took the advice. Uh-huh. Of his wife. Yeah. Uh-huh. Watch this. And now, uh, what, what I want to share is too. Abram did not care about what God had said. Nope. And his wife didn't either. Nope. nope. Watch this. Abram had himself uh-huh. right. on the top of the will of God. Uh-huh. The father of the faithful. What, right. I, what I want you to do. The father of the faithful. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He had, he said to God, God says, I'm with you. I'm your, God says, I'm your exceeding reward. Right. I am right. your shield. Yeah. I, I've got you. I, and Abram said, I'm paraphrasing. I don't want you. I want a son. Do y'all get that? Right, right, right. How often do we come to know the will of God? But there are more pressing issues of life that take precedence over what we know God said. Right. How often do we do do we take our circumstances and what we are going through and place that over what we know the will of God is? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And yet he is the father of the faith. Yet he's the one that God counted his belief as righteousness, as holiness. Watch this now. Abram wanted a son. His wife wanted to save face. She said, God has stopped me. Is that what it says? God has stopped me from having children. Right? Well, so she says, I'm going to go outside of him. What do I need God for when I got Hagar? What do you need the comfort of the Lord for when you got that man? What do you need the comfort of the Lord for when you got no, you're the CEO. <laughs> oh, what do you need the comfort of the Lord for? Oh, you you got that. Well, well, I said you got that good coach. Right, right. In case y'all don't know uh, what that. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> What do you need the comfort of the Lord for when when you got that good Hennessy? You got that good Jim Beam. That's your, you you get you a glass of comfort, a bottle of comfort, a bag of comfort, a a few rocks of comfort. What do you need, God? Mm. 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 See? God, hey, God. Don't need God. 
Abram at the time listens to the counsel. Know how come? Because it, it, it feeds, it, he's got a hunger for a baby of his own blood to come from him. And his wife ain't, ain't why, why, his wife is not giving it. And so she then makes Abraham a wife, which God does not recognize. That's right. That's right. God never calls Hagar Abraham's wife. That's right. That's right. Nope. She is X. Watch this. She is Sarah's handmaid. That's right. That's another thing, too. You can show up, get hooked up with somebody that ain't. Right. <laughs> the word of God says a man that finds a wife finds a good thing. Yeah. The thing about it is, you have to know what wife he is. Yeah. Yeah. You, you have to know what husband he is. Yeah. Before you can know whether or not it's good. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Hagar. Oh, and by the way, Hagar, Abraham, Abraham hooks up with Hagar, and, and we read, and, and, and uh, uh, Hagar has a child. And, uh, they named the child uh, Ishmael. When Hagar has the child, uh, Sarah uh, uh, sees that Hagar may be looking at her, and I say maybe because the, the text doesn't tell us exactly, but, but Hagar now may be looking at Sarah like that. she's in that wilderness place mm -hmm. and says, don't you go anywhere. I'll, I'm going to take care of you. Mm -hmm. Though you are not Abram's wife, right. that still is Abram's son. Yeah, right. mm -hmm. And they go back and Abram raises Ishmael, and, and I'm going forward here a bit to get to the close of this effort. Some 13 years pass. Ishmael is about 13 years old from this point in chapter 16. And at the time uh, when Abram had this uh, father, this boy, Ishmael, Abram was about 86 years old. He was about 86 years old when he fought uh, Ishmael. And he was proud. He was glad to have that boy. But when you read chapters 17 through 20, you find that God comes back to Abram and says, I am the Lord. Your God, El Shaddai, God Almighty. And I am here to make and reaffirm my covenant with you. You are going to 
to have a child. Watch this now. And just like I told you before when I came to you, I'm going to see that it happens. And, and Abram pleads for Ishmael. He said all oh, that, that Ishmael would be the recipient of your promise. And God said, no. Ishmael, he won't do it. And, and he goes on to share. He said, Ishmael and the folk that come from him, they're going to be like a wild ass. He says, Ishmael is a wild ass. And, and, and now, what, what all is packed in that is the fact that, uh, that uh, a, a part of is is that the, the descendants of Israel, uh, they were uh, a rowdy kind of folk. Okay. Uh, and, and to this day, <laughs> right now, yeah. Israel's descendants, uh -huh. ISIS, uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's my, they, they, they still are a wild ass. But here, but, but, but two things here. God made a promise. Mm -hmm. yes. Do y'all hear me? Yes. The promise was that you're going to have a son, and I am going to make my covenant with him too. Right. Mm -hmm. So then, do you believe the promise of God? Yes. yes. Over every circumstance, yes. do you trust yes. the promise of God, yes. or are you still yet bringing up hey God? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hmm. Are you still substituting the promise of God? And just understand. When Adam had eaten of the fruit, God came, the Bible says, in the cool of the evening, walking in the garden. Yes. And he ran across the man and the woman. And he said, what is this that has happened here? And the man blamed his wife. Yeah. yeah. And the wife blamed the devil. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and now, it was everybody's fault. Right. But the man blamed his wife. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So God had given him yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. the instruction. Right. Yes. Right. The woman had the instruction. Right. Right. But she did something else, didn't she? Yeah. Yeah. Sarah had Abraham's instruction about what God was going to do. Yeah. But yes, yeah. Yeah. but another <laughs> and, and, 
and he gave in. Yeah. 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 The cause of, of his desire right. that he put over God. Right. Boy is now 13 mm -hmm. years old. God came to Abel. He said, now yeah. I'm putting a refresher on my cup with you. You're going to have a son. I'm going to make my covenant even with him. And Abram, the Bible says that when God was telling Abram about what he was going to do, that Sarah was eavesdropping. <laughs> Heard God tell now a 99 year old man. Yeah. This is this is long before Now listen, she said, shall I, a 90 year old woman, experience? <laughs> says on the eighth day after his birth, he was circumcised. Yes. Uh, we, are, we are now studying in a Bible study, the, uh, the book of Acts. And, uh, I shared with the class that, uh, that there's so much there in dealing with the Acts of the Apostles that have to do with the life of Abraham, and it, and it may not, uh, it, it, they may not have had opportunity to kind of uh, lay, lay them side by side. This, this is what I'm making an effort here. Abram, in chapter 15, is not the same man that you find in the 20, 21st chapter of Genesis. I, I want you to get that nobody is born again full grown. Right. Right, sir. Right, sir. You are not 
you, if, if, if God bursts you in, the, in your, your spiritual self, you are, you are a baby in Christ. A baby needs nourishment wow. to grow. And listen, and nobody has to teach a baby how to eat. But what must happen is food must be made available for the baby. You don't have to tell the baby not to pop poke your lips out. Uh -oh. But you put the nourishment yes, sir. to the baby's mouth yes. and he goes to work. Yes. Do you hear me? Yes. Don't tell me that you are getting reborn and you're not hungry. Right. Right. Don't tell me that there's a new birth and you are eating slop. For the slot of the old life right. will not grow in the body of the new man. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If any man is in Christ, he is a new creature. Thank you, Lord. So you you so you can you can still survive. Wait, watch this. And this does not mean the no. The, the places you used to go, you just oh, I stop going there. No, 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 no. But but what it does mean is it is it is akin to the the the, the caterpillar. Right, right. Goes into a cocoon. Right. And becomes a butterfly. Right. Is that right? That's right. right. Yeah. Now when it becomes a butterfly, right. he don't forget what it is to be a caterpillar. He might go where the caterpillars go. But the only thing is, right. he's no longer right. a caterpillar. Right, right, right. right. You got him. Right. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. He goes up to the yeah. caterpillar bar. Right, right. <laughs> I ain't had this in a while. And he, and he, 